How's it going? This is Shane Thomas. In this video, we are going to learn Here in the Real World by Alan Jackson, a modern country classic, a heck of a song. Very simple to play on the guitar. So if you're brand new to playing the guitar, this is a great song to start off with and learn. Very simple. It's one of those I call DAG song. DAG. The chords are D-A-G. Uh, you'll throw in an E minor there, as you'll see every now and then, but the bulk of the song is D-A-N-G. Another thing to keep in mind is we are using a capo. A capo changes the uh, key of a song, and it transposes it so where you play, where normally this is a G, it's not when it's on the capo. Uh, when, when you got the capo on your first fret. So we're gonna put the capo on the first fret. We're gonna use the D shape as far as your chords go and your G shape and your A shape. So let's start off from the beginning. Basically, this song is composed of an intro section, first verse, chorus, second verse, chorus, and they do this little thing kind of repeat part of the chorus and end the song. That's it. Beautiful fiddle in there as long with Alan Jackson's voice as you don't need much more. Guitar, a nice fiddle, and Alan Jackson's voice. That's all you need for a good country song. So it starts off like this, the intro, G. And the strumming pattern is basically down, up, down. Go to A. So let's let's get our chords down first, because once we get these chords down, we are pretty much uh, good to go. So the first chord is G. Put your ring finger. I like to play the G like this. You'll see some diagrams, chord diagrams, where you have your first finger, second finger, and your third. I like to get in the habit of uh, put my middle finger on the fifth string, second fret. Remember, we, we're using a capo, so when I say second fret, it's actually the third fret, but in our terms, uh, where we put it is on the second fret, okay? So put your middle finger there on the fifth string, second fret, your ring finger, sixth string, low E string, third fret, and then your pinky on the first string, third fret. So that's your G. Play everything else open. Then you're going to move down to A. Very easy. You can check out my other video where I show you how to learn two easy chords. That's the A and the G. So here we are again using them in country music. You use these chords all the time. So basically the A chord you start with the fifth string open. Let's get that capo on there better. And then you want to put your first, second, and third finger. So first finger on the, the fourth string, second fret. Middle finger on the third string, second fret. Ring finger on the second string, second fret. Play, play the E string, that high E open. So you're only using the five, five of the six strings. Don't play that top E string. So the fifth string on down, you put your fingers on the second fret of the fourth, third, and second string. The difficult part about this chord is somehow getting your fingers and your hand out of the way so you don't touch that uh, second fret of that E string, that first string. So play that open. So. <whistles> then you're in the D position right now. So now we're gonna play a D chord. To recap, or, or if you're just learning the D chord, it's middle finger on the first string, second fret. Put your first finger on the third string second fret and your ring finger goes in between on the second string third fret just 
like that with the D string, which is your fourth string playing open. Okay, so again, middle finger, first string, second fret, you skip a string, and then on the third string, you put your first finger, your index finger, on the second fret, third string, and then you simply move your ring finger on the second string, third fret, and play the open D string, the fourth string. So the intro, two, G, A, down, up, down, up, D, G, that's the intro. Now we're getting ready to go into the verse. And don't forget, when you move, work your way down, G, A, D, G, D. Now we want to start on the D. This is important. You start on the D, that's when you start singing, that's when the verse kicks in. And here we go. Cowboys don't cry. Now we go back up the G. So cowboys don't cry. Move down the A. And heroes don't die. And that's the D right now. Just repeat. Good always wins. G, A, again and again. That's D. And love is a sweet. G, A. You can also play it with just one finger. That always comes true. D. Or oh, fly for like the moon. G, I never be blue. Just strum. Here in the real world, it's not. There you go. There you go. D. When hearts get D, G. Go from D to G. Real tears that fall down up on the deep. Darling, it's G again. But do 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 Now here we go. Now we're gonna change it up. Here's that E minor I told you about in the first part of the video. We're gonna throw it in here. E minor. It's very easy. One of the one of another good chord to, to learn if you're just starting. So we're going to put our two fingers, two fingers on the fifth string, second fret, and your ring finger on the fourth string, second fret. Play, play that E string open, that sixth string, everything else open. So as far as this song goes, you go from the D, know the boy don't, E minor. And I love this part. I love this part. It's a little tricky if you're just starting out playing the guitar. But if you get it, it's a nice little run or nice little bass pattern. No the boy don't always get the girl. So basically what I'm doing is you go from E minor, which again is on second fret, Fourth string and fifth string with the sixth string open. There you go, that's probably a better angle. And so basically what they do is, I mean, you don't have to do this. You could go back to E, E minor, excuse me, D, G. But if, if you want, practice and wrap, put your thumb on the second fret, sixth string, that F sharp. That adds a nice flavor to that D chord. See how it just progresses? Dun, dun, dun. No, the boy don't always put that F sharp. Get the girl back to A here in the real world. G. 
back to D. All right? So, G, down to A. down the D, so bass, F sharp, always get the girl, G, back to A, here in the real, back to G, so you got to watch that part, at the last part of that course, your, your habit's been to go back to D's, so G, A, G, G, A, D, but at the last part, after they make that little run, A, instead of going to D, we're going to go back to G. Here in the real world, now we go back to D. Dun, dun. All right, so there's our first verse. I know it took a while, but the second one, that's the beauty of music, especially country music and these simple songs. It's just, it's just a pattern. So we did all that. We're going to repeat. Verse number two. I gave you my love. Back to G to A. That wasn't enough. And you just do that again. And then once you get to that part of your course, is same same thing. And then the only thing, I, just the tricky part... Don't forget to do that beautiful E minor to D with that F sharp in the bass and that G here in the real world. So there we go. We got the intro. A. D. G. There we go. That's the intro, verse one. Then the little, little few bars go to verse two. I gave you my love. And, and just play that same pattern, the same chords again. Remember the strumming patterns up, down, or down, up, excuse me. And that's it. That's it. So if you remember G A D, this is the bulk of the song. And then except at the end of the course, know the girl or know the boy don't always get the girl with the E D with that F sharp girl. That's it. Fool around with it. If you know those four chords, which are G A D, and throw in that E. E minor. Don't freak out if you if you don't do the little thumb thing on the F sharp when you play that one D. Don't worry about it. In the future, just keep practicing. But I love that. So again, E minor, D with that F sharp in the bass on that top sixth string to G. 
you eventually you'll get that because that that adds a whole nother element another layer another flavor to this wonderful song so hopefully you practice this song and you enjoy it you can play it all the time and most people will know this song most people love this song some really good life lessons about reality and about hey look this isn't a fairy tale we live we live here in the real world and not everything goes as planned in in the world so most stuff doesn't so you have to be a realist uh too but it's a wonderful song thank you alan jackson and co-writer there uh for giving us this gem you all go out and practice it you could this is a great what i call a port song you sit on the porch and play this all the time on your porch swing around the campfire or at the lake uh just a wonderful song easy song practice g a d and that e minor and put all those pieces together like a recipe and then you have this wonderful dish called here in the real world take care y'all i'm shane thomas <laughs>